This presentation is about the evolution of photosynthesis. The points those will be covered in this presentation are how and when photosynthesis evolved, about oxygenic and anoxygenic photosynthesis, groups of bacteria which can perform photosynthesis, evolution of different photosynthetic modules, and transition from anoxygenic to oxygenic photosynthesis. The origin and evolution of photosynthesis is a complex story which began around 3.4 billion years ago, not long after the origin of life. If we look at the general idea of the photosynthesis, this process uses light and a source of electron to produce food. In the modern day form of photosynthesis, the source of electron is water. It generates oxygen as a byproduct through the decomposition of water. This type of photosynthesis is called oxygenic photosynthesis. However, this is not the type which was evolved at first. In the earliest type of photosynthesis, the electron derived not from water but from reduced inorganic and organic compounds, hence generate no oxygen. This type of photosynthesis is called anoxygenic photosynthesis. It is considered that the most primitive form of photosynthesis was anoxygenic when the atmosphere began to contain a higher concentration of oxygen due to the great oxidation event, the photosynthesis began to convert into its modern day form. The evolution of photosynthesis is complex because it involves different classes of organism. Nevertheless, different parts of photosynthetic apparatus have different evolutionary path. If we look at the evolutionary tree of life, we can see three fundamental domains of living organisms, bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. This division of life into three domains is based on small subunit rRNA method. Photosynthesis is mainly restricted in the domain bacteria and eukarya. Scientific evidences suggest that the process of photosynthesis first originated within the domain of bacteria and then it entered in eukaryotes by endosymbiosis of cyanobacteria like organism which ultimately become chloroplasts. The detail of endosymbiosis event and the eukaryotic photosynthesis will be discussed in the next presentation. This presentation is mainly focused on bacterial domain only. There are six main groups of bacteria which can perform photosynthesis. Among them five are anoxygenic means they do not produce oxygen as a byproduct of photosynthesis. Those are heliobacteria, acidobacteria, green sulfur bacteria, purple bacteria, filamentous anoxygenic phototrophs. Whereas cyanobacteria is the single group which can perform oxygenic photosynthesis. This entire diagram represents the difference in the photosynthetic machinery and electron transport system in these six groups of bacteria. We will discuss about the evolution of these photosynthetic modules in our next slides. So the first one is the photosynthetic reaction center. Photosynthetic reaction center is the heart of photosynthesis where the primary energy conversion reaction happen. Reaction centers are composed of several proteins, pigments and other cofactors. Based on the early electron acceptor cofactors, there are two types of reaction centers iron sulfur centers that is type 1 and pheophytin and quinone complexes that is type 2. Anoxygenic phototrophs have just one type, either type 1 or type 2, while all oxygenic phototrophs that include cyanobacteria have both types. How come cyanobacteria contain both type 1 and type 2 reaction centers while all other photosynthetic prokaryotes have only a single reaction center? There are two hypotheses in this regard, selective loss and fusion scenarios. In the selective loss hypothesis, the two types of reaction centers both evolved in an ancestral organism and then loss of one or the other reaction center gave rise to the organism with just one reaction center. In the fusion hypothesis, the two types of reaction center develop separately in on anoxygenic photosynthetic bacteria and then brought together by a fusion of two organisms. In both cases, the ability to oxidize water was added later. According to the scientific evidences, all reaction centers have evolved from a single common ancestor and have a similar protein and cofactor structure. The earliest reaction center was intermediate between type 2 and type 1. 
Later, the heterodimeric reaction centers were evolved by multiple gene duplications, which are found in most modern reaction centers. Along with the reaction centers, photosynthesis requires some other intermediate complexes to complete the whole electron transfer chain. This includes cytochrome BC1 and BC B6F complexes. All photosynthetic organisms have cytochrome BC1 or B6F complex of generally similar architecture with one exception that is the filamentous and oxygenic phototrophs. This group contains a completely different type of complex that is called alternative complex 3. The evolutionary origin of this complex is not clear yet, while the cytochrome BC1 and B6F complex are similar in many ways. There are at least three autotrophic carbon fixation pathways that are found in different types of organism. By far, the dominant carbon fixation pathway is the Kelvin-Benson cycle, which is found in all oxygenic phototrophic organisms that includes cyanobacteria and also in most purple bacteria. Green sulfur bacteria use the reverse tricarboxylic acid cycle, and many of the filamentous and oxygenic phototrophs use the 3 hydroxypropionate cycle. Acidobacteria use an unknown carbon fixation pathway, whereas heliobacteria lack the ability to fix inorganic carbon and usually grow photoheterotrophically. The transition from primitive anoxygenic to modern-day oxygenic photosynthesis required three uh, key innovations. The evolution of a high potential reaction center capable of oxidizing water, evolution of a bioinorganic complex to catalyze the four electron oxidation reaction of water to produce oxygen, and third one is the coupling of two reaction centers in a series.